today I want to talk about pay inequality. Now I'm not talking about when women and men get paid differently or different ethnicities or backgrounds or races, none of that. It's also not about people in the higher level positions get paid more than people in the lower level positions even though they perceive to be doing less. What I'm talking about is when there are people working in the same department, pretty much side by side, but they could get paid significantly different amount of money for doing almost the same work. But you know what I wanted to do while talking to you about it actually can't be done today. It's terrible weather. So let's try that tomorrow. See you tomorrow. For you, it's just going to be a quick second. Today is tomorrow. The rain is gone. And now we can finally get to work. Now, keep in mind, my experience has been working for small companies, small business, uh, basically e-discovery vendors. So I didn't work at the government agencies or anything like that. So what I'm talking about is going to apply to small companies. Right, so different people in same position making different amounts of money. Now, in America, we usually negotiate our salaries. There's some companies where jobs, uh, job salaries are being posted, like this position is earning this much salary per year, and that's it. But usually in small companies, you negotiate your own salary based on your experience and, well, ability to negotiate. First, let's address people who earn more than average in the department. So let's say everyone's like making 50,000 and you get like one person who's making uh, maybe 60, 65. So why would that happen? And in my experience, that usually happens when you steal an employee from another company. So I'm sure you guys know that it is really hard to find people, uh, qualified people in e-discovery and search may take a while. And one of the strategies that company would take is trying to steal a person from a competitor well when you do that you have to pay that person extra you have to convince them to leave a job somewhere else and come working for you so that's why you may give them uh, more money than you would give to somebody who is uh, just looking for a job so maybe industry average for that position is like fifty thousand, and you're trying to give uh, this person like 60 just to join your company so that's not uncommon to happen However, when they do join your company, it may turn out to be that, well, they're not that great. You know, maybe they weren't uh, worth 65,000, but you already hired them. You already fill that position, you fill that need. And now if you're trying to gonna get rid of them uh, and maybe start looking for somebody else again, well, that's a lot of work. It may be easier for a company to like, yeah, just overpay somebody by $10,000 uh, and just leave them in the position, even though they may not be uh, worth that salary or not as qualified as some other employees What about the other situation when you have people who are really really good at what they do? However, their salary is below either industry average or departments average Those are some of the people who are really smart and when they got into their position They usually were either overqualified or they learn super fast and what happened there, the company would not give them a, a proper salary for what they're actually worth. Let's say somebody joined the company and they were there for uh, maybe three months, but they're really good at what they do. Turn out to be they have amazing technical knowledge and they're able to do all kinds of cool things. But they started with a low salary initially and the company would not give them more money or they would but they would say like well we have a maximum raise amount of only five percent per year or something like that or ten percent or whatever number they made up so that's how you get these people who are really really good at what they do they have seemingly short experience but their salary is also really really small or way below average The other thing people do is they trade title 
for salary. It's kind of weird to me, but some people want to have this really awesome title in the company. And when they're offered to take a higher title, but less money, they're willing to do so. And I worked with some people like that before. Um, and when basically co-workers find out that somebody got like a senior title, uh, they would get pretty upset about that. But from a manager's perspective, it's kind of like, eh, okay, this guy is gonna give up money to get some kind of title that he's gonna feel good about it. Eh, works for us. So how does it affect us in e-discovery world? Well, when you have employees that are working for you, they're doing a great job, you want to keep them. And if the company or management uh, is not willing to give them the money they deserve, well, it's easier for them to change jobs and get that money because now they have experience. Uh, so what unfortunate thing that's happening is people, um, people change jobs to get money that they actually deserve. And all this because of some made up policy that company decided, well, over a certain percentage would be too much for a person. So that would be my take as to why we wind up with people in the same department getting paid significantly different amounts of money. Now, what can you do in this situation? First of all, if you're overpaid and you know you get paid more than everyone else, well, you need to shape up and you gotta make sure you do a better job than everyone else, you're learning, you're moving forward. Otherwise, you'll be the first person on uh, what's called a chopping block, right? If there are any uh, budget cuts or anything like that, you'll be the first person to go unless you can you know, deliver and outperform the rest of the team. If you're a manager of a department and you have people who underpaid, well, it's your job to fight for them. You gotta make sure that um, they get what they deserve uh, because you'll be the one who is gonna wind up with the person quitting uh, because of some stupid reason because they couldn't get a few extra thousand dollars. And personally, I do think this situation kind of sucks. You know, I don't like when people's salaries are based on their ability to negotiate. Um, I would much prefer seeing jobs, uh, so basically job titles with the salaries that, um, like in some countries, everyone knows what everyone makes, the certain position has certain dollar sign associated to it, and you can apply for a different position, uh, move up and get a higher salary. It's kind of like that in certain government areas in US, uh, but in smaller companies, it's definitely not like that. If you are a person who gets paid below department average as well as industry average, I do have a tip for you how to get more money. Now, it's not guaranteed to work and also it is not asking for a raise. It's something completely different. I am going to save it for next video. All right. And with that in mind, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.